So I'm going to teach you how to direct your terminal standard out. This is very useful when you're interacting with and manipulating files, and it's also required by a lot of software that outputs to standard out by default. So we'll start with the very simple echo command, and we'll just echo hello world. And you see here that it just prints hello world to your terminal. In this case, hello world was the standard out of this command. So let's do that again. But instead of just echoing it, I'm going to use the caret to direct it to a file. And we'll call that file hello.txt. Now if we look, we see we have hello.txt. And if we use the cat command to look inside hello.txt, we see that it just says hello world. And again, cat just printed the contents of hello text to standard out, and then that shows up in your terminal. And then let's do this command again but we'll add hello world again. And now if we look at hello.txt, we see that it only says hello world again because the caret will overwrite hello.txt. So instead, let's echo goodbye world and add two carrots to hello.txt. And now if we look at hello.txt, we see that it has hello world again and goodbye world because this time we used a double caret which appends whatever the standard out is to the end of the file. And then let's do this cat again but let's direct it to a new file and we'll just call it hello version 2.txt and then let's run that a few more times but let's use the double caret for append And now if we look at hello version 2.txt, we see that there are multiple lines. And if we use the word count dash L command, it will count how many lines are in a file. Hello version 2.txt. We see that there's 12 lines. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to pipe the output from one command into another command. For example, we can cat hello version 2 to standard out and send it to word count dash l instead of specifying a file. So of course we can just run word count dash l on hello version 2.txt but I'm just showing here that we can pipe the output from standard out with the pipe symbol to word count dash l and now we don't have to specify a file because it knows that it's taking the standard out as input. So here, again, it prints 12. And then let me introduce one more new command that'll go into more depth in future videos, but I'll just do a quick introduction here. Rep searches a file and will print out any line that contains what you're searching for. So again, if we look at hello version 2.txt, we see some lines have goodbye. So if we do a grep, goodbye on hello world or hello version 2.txt we see here it only prints out the lines that have goodbye because that's what we specified here and then we can actually pipe that output into word count dash l so now we're printing every line that starts with goodbye and we're piping that to word count so we're counting how many lines have the word goodbye in them. Only six. And then let me just show this one other way. We'll just use the history command to illustrate this further. History, I'll just show here, prints all the commands that you've used in your terminal. So what we can do is instead of printing it to terminal, we can pipe history to word count dash L. We see I have 230 lines in my history. This time, let's pipe history to grep echo and then word count dash L. What we're doing here is piping those 230 lines of history into grep and we're searching for echo. So it's going, grep is going to filter out only the lines that have echo in them and then we're counting how many of those lines exist. So how many times in these 230 commands have I used echo?
17. And then let me introduce one more command, tail. So what tail does is takes a file or it takes standard output and it will print the last 10 lines by default. But if we specify a dash n here, and let's just say five, we now print the last five lines of my history. And then let's just use this example up here again that we did just a second ago and add a tail into it. So we'll do, we'll pipe history, oops. We'll pipe history into tail and do an N100. So now this looks complicated, but what it's doing is we're printing all of the history, all 232 lines, into standard out, which then gets taken by tail, and tail filters out the last 100 that we specify here, N100, and then pipes it to grep, and then grep filters out only the lines that have echo, and then word count counts those lines. So how many of my last 100 commands did I use echo? 13. And then finally, let's just save this to a text file, output.txt. So now we have that output.txt, and if we look inside of it, it says 14, because we added another echo line. And that's pretty much it for the basics of using carrots and the bar for piping. They're both very important things to use and to understand.